Ladies and gentlemen, I now hold in my hands the Match X M2 Pro Miner. Yes, it has arrived in a little than over one week. Today on that Echo Guy, I'm going to be showing you how to set up this awesome low powered multi token miner. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start to unbox the Match X M2 Pro Miner here. Uh, this also came with a nice MXC logoed light bulb, which is a stress ball. Very cool. And it also came with this MXC token here. A nice little shiny token. Thank you, Match X, for this. So, let's start to unbox the Miner. Nice little sticker here. We've got the welcome to the fuge of Internet of Things mining. Got the nice manual here. We've got some LED indications indicating what each LED would, would will be doing. So steady blue is booting, for example. Steady yellow is Internet. Okay, so we'll keep that handy so we can see how to connect this. When we're connecting it, we'll know what the status is. We've got a couple of screws here to be able to mount it against the wall with the, pl with the wall plugs as well. We've got a pole mount if you want to mount that outdoors. It's pretty much a Jubilee clip so that will just screw on and mount to a pole. So you can mount this upright. It's important that this is going to be mounted upright. Power cable. Okay. This is powered by power over ethernet. So this is the power over ethernet adapter to LAN. So that will connect to the power. Power over ethernet will go to the miner. And the LAN will connect obviously to the network, to your internet. We've got three antennas here. Okay. Each of them are marked. So we've got two of them are marked LO. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, two of them are marked LO and the other one is marked G. Okay, and those are going to go into the corresponding slots here. So this is the main unit. So you've got G and you've got L and L there. Okay, so we'll put the L here, L there, and the G there. The fourth antenna here is not included, that is purchased separately where there is marked A on the miner. And that's only used if you require this to be in a remote location when, where there is no internet connection and you need to power this via a SIM card using LTE and things like that or a 4G network, okay? So that one we are not going to use. This is IP66 certified, so it is a waterproof miner. You can put this outside and it also is UV resistant. I'm going to put mine indoors for now and it should give us the same result anyway. And last but not least in the box, we have the Ethernet cables. These are, let's see, CAT6, the CAT6 UTP Ethernet cables. You've got a short one here and you've got a longer one here. Uh, you can use either or, uh, probably I'll be using the short one to connect from the PoE to the miner because they'll be quite close by to each other and then from the LAN it's a, it's a bit longer so it's going to go to my modem or to a network switch which connects to my modem which is a bit further away so I'll use the longer cable so let's get to putting this all together
Okay, so we've got the L with the L, the L with the L, and the G with the G. Okay, so this gap at the bottom here, that's normal to be there. You just screw it in as far as it will go. Don't over tighten or else, else you might actually break the threads. So just put them in like that and that's pretty much it. Here you have once removed, no return. So we're just going to remove that. And it has been removed now. And there are two small screws at the bottom here to open up the panel here, which will be where we will plug in the network cable and the uh, f for the power. Screws are off and we'll just pop that out, just slide it down. This QR code we will need to scan with the data dash app once we have completed setting up the miner okay and here is where we have the network cable to connect the power over ethernet part so the cable is going to go from poe to this port right there this uh, red screw here you can undo that and connect an earth wire and that is when you're going to mount the miner outside on a pole so you would have an, a ground wire going from this screw. You'd undo this screw, put the ground wire in as a loop. You put it there, put the screw in and tighten it. You'll have a ground wire going to the pole in order so that the miner can be earthed. Okay, So that um, even if there is lightning or whatever and things like that, it'll just be absorbed through the pole. So that illustration of that is on the manual here. Also in the box, there were these little clips so basically what these are those are there with adhesive tape at the back so these are basically to be able to thread the network cable in and here it shows you exactly how that is done on this little 4x4 illustration so that is there so basically you just put in a cable like that and like that and that will help keep the cables nice neat and tidy you'll put the backing on here so you put the stickers that are here which are pretty much 3m uh, double-sided tape stickers you just peel that off put that on there and stick them to guide the network cable nicely and neatly so basically on the part that we slid out here there is a rubber grommet at the bottom here which basically you just slide out from here and it just opens up like that and what you do here is basically you just need to thread the cable through the hole first like that and then you just need to put the rubber grommet part just open that up from its slit and put it around the cable into the large hole okay and if you are going to use that grounding wire you would also pass that uh, through the smaller hole here if you're going to be installing this outside on the pole and basically then all you need to do is just slide this grommet the rubber grommet make sure you give it enough uh, room to be able to connect to the to the miner in there um, just slide that back into its uh, into its place like this over here like that so the best way is just to leave it partly in there pull half of it out like that and then just kind of slide the cable through from here like so and then you'll just slide in the second section of that into the slot from here and that's pretty much it insert the cable into the port hear that click and put the cover back on so that's how it's going to be at the end put the other two screws back on there and you, you're you're pretty much done the other end of the cable here i am using the shorter cable because i said this is going to be quite close by in my case and this will go to the poe right there hear that click and that's it this is the electrical part which will go in there just put that in there and this goes to your wall socket and then I will connect the uh, longer Ethernet cable which is a five meter cable uh, from the LAN from the LAN port here it's just going to click in like that 
and that's going to go to our either our modem or our router straight away or to a network switch in my case i have a network switch a small network switch which is connected to my router downstairs i am on the second floor here so that's an advantage for this as well as it's going to be slightly higher up than ground level as well and i will eventually be mounting this against the wall the important thing is that this is going to be kept upright so it, it needs to be facing like that and not a bit like that or a bit like that or the other way around so it's very important because that could affect the health of the miner which i will go through in another video as well when i am going to be discussing fuel and the health of the miner okay so basically when you've connected that to the socket you'll get a green light indicating that the power is on for the power over ethernet plug there you go and this is here connected to the miner which will be standing up right there and i'll put this higher up so it'll be somewhere like this okay and that will be closed by to a window here so that it'll get a better signal as well now if we open up the panel here You will have the light which is currently red because I haven't yet connected it to the internet so I'm just going to do that right now. So blue means booting up so that that boots up starting to boot it's getting the internet connection and once that's steady the internet connection will be okay Okay, and now when it turns green, it will mean that it has a super node connected. At the moment, it doesn't. So I'm just going to use the data dash app in order to install the miner and set it up. Basically, I am opening up the data dash app here. Allow. And now I am going to add our miner. So I'm going to click on add miner. I'm going to scan the QR code that's on the device itself. I'm going to allow the camera scan the code straight away and our m2 pro miner is now mining click on done okay and here on the screen after the miner has been added you can see that we have a health score when it comes out of the box it'll be 80 and our fuel tank is at a hundred percent now that health score will start building up over the next week and it will become 100 percent now the health score will go down if you actually start to withdraw the MXC tokens from the wallet, but that is for another video and another day. But that is basically how easy it is to set up the Match X M2 Pro Miner. So I am just going to show you the LED status now so you can see what's happening. So as you can see now, we have a steady green light because we have our super node connected and the miner is successfully connected to the internet. It's important that the miner is going to be facing upright like that and that will be the optimal that you can get and I will be mounting this on the wall right here close by to a window because I am not going to mount this outdoors just yet. The rubber grommet is there for waterproofing so I could have done away without it for now but um, I'm just going to leave it on. I'm going to close up that cover, two screws, and we're pretty much going to be mining. I hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. Smash that like button. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.